This is more than likely, I would say, one of the, the shiniest moments of the city this year. Uh, all the artists are out, all the public is out. It's, it's really a, a celebration. It's been great, Ted. Uh, I did, every year we've gotten a little bit bigger and this year was even the biggest yet. So we had perfect weather and just an endless stream of people. So it's been great, really been good. The mayor was down here earlier, Mary Catherine Greenlaw, and it's really the best of Fredericksburg. I mean, this, you couldn't be down here on a better day. It shows just um, how uh, populated and rich uh, the arts community is. Uh, and also, it also lends itself to show the vibrance of the community as a whole. All the restaurants are open, all the shops, every, the doors are open everywhere. And that's a really great feeling being part of this downtown. These were um, given away during World War I to original ones, as long as we promised to make 30 pairs of socks for soldiers that were fighting for the tenants in Europe. It's a European look to this. Yeah, I guess it is a little bit European look. And you know, the funny thing is I keep getting asked all day long. I said, do other people, are there other cities do this? I'm like, I don't think so. I think we just invented it. I think we've uh, created this thing and uh, it's taken on a life of its own. It's just how you described to me. I've seen places where people have are letting people try it themselves or asking questions. Yeah, and that's one of the things we try to encourage, at least with the artists, is if somebody's standing there watching us paint, like, hey, hey you want to paint? You want to grab a brush? And, it, and it's really bridging that disconnect from the people to the artists. And, and it's worked. I mean, I think it always works. And I think for both the artists and, and, and the patrons down here, I think they've, they've learned a lot and, and enjoyed the uh, interaction with each other. You don't know if some of these people are going to get uh, either have an interest, a first-time interest, or maybe rekindle an interest. For sure, for sure. Actually, after going through the roster list, now we have artists that have participated at least uh, once over the past five years. So we have returning artists, we have brand new artists, we have people actually that came to the registration table and said, I just, I didn't find it online, I just, I see it, I want to be part of it, what do I do? I'll sign up right now grab, a, I guess they have some, you know, pen and pen and pad or something, but they want to be part of it. You know, I've actually seen it. So this is our fifth year. I've seen people that on the first or two years, they come down and see it and then they get the bravery up. And now I've seen a lot of them who were just visiting last year now doing it. That's great. And then I'm sure once they do it once, they'll continue to do it. So that's sort of uh, growing, you know, the art, the art is growing. A lot of options too for people to get involved. You know, besides the, the shops down here, we also want to showcase all the different galleries. We have FCCA on Sophia Street, Art First, Brush Strokes, Pawn Shop, just on Caroline Street alone. And then of course, Liberty, Liberty Town is up on Liberty Street. So, and a lot, not all of them, but a lot of the artists down here are affiliated with one or the other. Uh, and so. Um, yeah, and we certainly encourage people to go check those places out. Are you going to be tired tonight from doing this? <laughs> Actually, no, the adrenaline will wear off tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, Sunday, will be my day of rest. Um, but uh, really, it, it really feels like a celebration. It's a holiday for sure.